Final votes now being cast in the race for the Republican nomination for U.S. Senate. T.W. Shannon and his supporters are holding a watch party in downtown Tulsa. To News reporter Joe Hinkie's live at the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame after talking to Shannon this afternoon. Joe. Well, Karen, I'm told T.W. Shannon expected here at his watch party soon. Campaign workers just put the finishing touches on the party behind me, and supporters are waiting outside right now. T.W. will speak to the crowd uh, after the polls, excuse me, close at 7 o'clock. Now, when I met up with T.W. in North Tulsa today, he says he was making a push for final votes by talking to undecided voters. Since starting his campaign, Shannon tells me he closed a sizable gap in the polls, partially thanks to people in northeastern Oklahoma and the Tulsa area. Despite closing a gap in the polls, though, Shannon says for any candidate on the crowded ballot to win the Republican nomination tonight is a challenge. With seven people in the race, it's just tough to you know win it outright when you've got a 50% plus one threshold. So we've always prepared for a runoff situation. And frankly, uh, for us, being the underdog in the race, just making it to a runoff is, is, is a strident feat. Now, the former Oklahoma Speaker of the House says today he talked to people about the national debt, Obamacare, and other national issues he would focus on in Washington, D.C. if eventually elected to the Senate. And after the polls close here and Shannon speaks, he'll be moving over to Oklahoma City. He has another watch party set up there at the Tower Hotel. We'll be there with Shannon and bring you live reaction to today's vote here on 2 News at 10. Live in downtown Tulsa, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you.